that look like to you, Lena? A butterfly. Yes, a butterfly indeed. What does a butterfly signify? Unfaithfulness. Separation. Fidelity, part one. You're a great dancer. Would you like to dance with me? <laughs> no, sorry. I'm actually married. Got it. Have some tea now, it's yes. fresh and good. Oh, we could go to Lucia. Hello, Lucia. Hello, Lucia. Hello. I don't think Hello. that's your problem. What do we have here? Oh, oh I love so it. so much noise. Mama! I tell you, take a look. It's as if it was tailored Mama! to you. Who is it? It's not a girl, it's a three-ring circus, oh, really. Oh. Hello, Aunt Masha, hello. I brought you some nail polish. Oh, really? Yes, look, here's one. Oh. And here's mint freshness, huh? Oh, Masha, Green has that's always been color. my color. I absolutely love it. Thank you. Will you come have some tea with us tonight? Okay. You have to come. Yes. Masha, are you coming no, with us? No, I'm staying here. Okay. Should we go Great. then? Bye. Bye. See you girl. later. Oh, look, Masha. Oh, no, I don't want this one. I want the other one. <sighs> How much um, is it? Yes, dear. Careful. Give me your bag. Here, I'll carry that one. I'll put them in the trunk. Oh, wow. Uh, Mom, where did this house come from? The new neighbor built it. Did you see how big it is? But when? Why didn't you tell me? Honey, can you open the back? Huh? Oh, okay. Give me the bags. Yeah. Yes. Like that. Okay. Okay. Okay, don't carry them yourself. I'll call Dad. I won't be long. Hello. Oh, Kenna. <laughs> I haven't seen you in forever. Oh. oh, Kenna. Hello. Oh, my God. You look amazing. <laughs> and you, too. You've changed a lot. Well, sort of. <laughs> I haven't seen you in ages. Kenna, if you had called me more often, you would know everything about me. Oh. You got married? And you said that you would never tie the knot. <laughs> well, you know, I couldn't wait anymore for you. I see you're married as well. Hold your horses, Gena. Here's a simple trick, like this. You see, now I'm divorced. <laughs> what do you mean? 
It's a little trick so no one comes on to me in the city. It's very convenient. Ah, you're a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> Let me help you with your bags. Well, okay. Oh, uh, what have you got in here? A little bit of everything. Fine, listen. A couple of people are getting together at the Wasteland tonight. We're having a barbecue. Everyone will be there. Well, Marina and I are celebrating our anniversary. <gasps> Marina's your wife. Oh, yes. That's great. Sure, then I'll be there. <laughs> Deal. Well, everything is okay at the salon. We've ordered new brochures and business cards. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. So, you're in charge of this creative makeup design salon. <laughs> this is the art of makeup, right? You do all the accounting, the documents, the taxes. Well, I'm not alone. I hired some great young girls and we do everything together. But the final say is always mine. I'm sitting pretty. Don't you think? <laughs> it's such a pity. You never entered the arts university after you finished college. That was always your dream, wasn't it? Mom, I'm making very good money with my little butterflies. Hmm. Always joking. You used to bite your nails when you were a kid. <laughs> Dad. Dad what? Have you met any young men? Mm-hmm. Do you have someone there? Mm-hmm. Who? He's an electrician. His name is Alex. He's a very good man. He drinks like a fish and only gets sober when he needs to change a light bulb. And that's it. I'm being serious. When are you getting married? Mom, I'll know when the right one shows up. What can I do? I mean, I'm never going to find anyone like my dad. Mm -hmm. And I'm not eager yep. to have some lazy bones lying on my sofa, okay? Mm -mm. Thank you very much, Mom. I haven't had dinner like this in a long time. Listen, the guys must be waiting for you already. Caustic asked about you. Mm. Go have some fun. Well, if Caustic asked about me, then I'd better get going. Hmm. Enough, maybe? <sighs> Am I disturbing you? No, Dad, you can never disturb me. Better yet, help me choose which sneakers to wear tonight. The black ones with the orange laces, or the white and orange ones with the white laces, huh? Won't you be cold? Are you trying... trying to say that shoes have gone out of style in the city? Dad... Sneakers are what I wear every day. Mm-hmm. And yet, sweetie, you used to wear only dress shoes. True. I guess I was wrong. <laughs> are you tired? I don't know, Dad. And I better not think about it. I'm always running around. And if I stop, who knows what'll happen. You need to take care of yourself. I promise, Dad. I'll start tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Joking again. Mm, come on, why not, Dad? Nobody takes me seriously anyway. I'm something like a chatterbox jokester or a butterfly. <laughs> people think so, and they must be right. People are never wrong. All right. 
about the white and the orange ones. They seem closer to nature. Dad, what a good choice. Okay. Asya, I'll give you just five minutes. At most. By the way, you could have asked first if I wanted to see a person who's not a part of this group. Marina, what do you mean? We grew up together. Uh huh. And she left for the city. A good friend, and you haven't seen or heard from her in two years? So what, is Asya coming? Who is Asya? We saw her this morning at the market. Oh, that's her? All right, guys, let's drink to your anniversary. Yes. My friends, let's raise a glass. So, Marina, <laughs> here's to our first year and many more amazing ones. Me too. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Go on, kiss me. <laughs> Guys, the fire is almost blown out. Good morning, ladies. Oh, hello, young man. Hello. Oh, oh we'd love to chat. It's just so cold. All right. Have a good day. Mom, Dad, tell me about it. About this new house they built next door, hmm? What can I tell you? Somebody bought the land, built a house. There's nothing interesting. Of course it's interesting. All of us spent a lot of time in the valley when we were children. It's practically our land, Dad. Mm-hmm. But that doesn't count, does it, sweetheart? Well, okay, and how do you like your neighbor? Well, we don't know much about him. He's mm -hmm. not from around here. Some rich mogul. Built a house like that and didn't even finish the fence, so his livestock keeps running into our property. He mm. has such nice little goats. I wish I had one. Don't you, mm. dear? Okay, thanks for breakfast. That's it. I'm going for a walk. Put on your warm pants. You're not in the city here. Yes, ma'am. Hello. Hello. Don't you even watch where you step? No, looking down at the ground doesn't make sense. I'd rather look up at the sky. The sun is there. Oh, yes, a princess never touches the ground. <laughs> Princesses, they float. Yes, and they also don't meet their friends at a barbecue, although they promise. My fault. My fault. It took me so long to get ready that I fell asleep unexpectedly. I couldn't oh, do anything Oh, give me about a break. It. Just be honest and say you didn't want to party with us villagers. You've changed, Asya. That's oh, what course. city life does to villagers. Oh, Kostya, you've become so shrewd that you are pretending to see through me. You need to stop that. I've been working really hard non-stop in the city, and I just decided to come here and get a little bit of a rest. But something is happening around here. New buildings and everything, right? What? Uh, What's all that about? Asya, they call it an attack of civilization on nature. Mm -hmm. The guy snatched our valley right from under us. Didn't your parents tell you? No, they didn't tell me. Well, he is doing things in a big way, right? There used to be a beautiful view from here. There was a path to the riverbank. And now, all in all, I wonder if this construction of his is even legal. Somehow we didn't think of that. He went and he built it. We never even tried to check his permits. No, you didn't. But you know what? I would be eager to look at his building permits. Hey, kids, what are you doing here? Nothing. Nothing? Get out of here. Get out of here. It's private. Right. It's your private property. Go on. Get out. Get out. <laughs> what are you so excited about? Nothing. It's just that you're still sticking your nose in other people's business. Costa, thank you for the compliment. See? You are a true friend. <laughs> You're welcome. Let's go. I'll show you what else has changed around here. What are the latest developments? Well, okay.
See that? This victory's awesome. for you. Listen, it's so good here. In the city, it's impossible to have races like these. That's in the city. And races are all we have here, so get used to it. Marina, what's wrong? Have you forgotten your old friend? Do you want us to jump for joy? We can give you a round of applause if you want. There you go. <laughs> Look, Asia's back. No wonder. <laughs> well, jumping sounds fun. I've always been very fond of sports. By the way, oh, if you're me. ever in the city, come see me. I'll give you a discount. Oh, really? Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're a manicurist. <laughs> well, it's something like that. I own a salon. Oh, that's great. Oh, wow. Girls, who's going to ride with me? Count me out. I'm getting sick of it. What? Don't you want to go? Well, if you don't want to, I've always loved the wind. Kostya, uh, take this. Thank you. Uh, listen, could you give me a ride around the village? Okay, hold yeah. on tight. Let's go. Uh, Woo! -hoo! Yay! Huh. Did you see that? Did you see that? See what? Her sneakers. I like the ones I saw in the magazine. <laughs> I can tell you they're fake. Everything about her is fake. Ganna, slow down. Slow down. You're so nosy. Huh. Look, can we get a little bit closer to that house? No, Asya, there's a fence there. Uh, there he is. I wonder what he's doing. Well, I guess he's taking out the trash. Well, no. What if he has dead bodies in those bags? What if he is a maniac, Genna, hmm? What a vivid imagination you have. What are you thinking about now? Porsche. I'm dying for a bowl of my mom's borscht soup. I'll go home and ask her to make some. I'm talking about this maniac. Nothing. It can wait. I'll look into this later. He just went and built a house here just like that. Genna, let's go. Start your engine. Hit the gas. Brakes are for losers. You understand, Genna? Let's go. Are you okay? Are you sure you weren't cold? No, it's just cool. All right, Asya, how about a little competition? No, Kostya, I don't take part in competition. Come on. My dad used to say, girl, you are beyond competition. Oh, <laughs> beyond competition. And I wanted to compete with you, but as far as I can see, you are unarmed. Marina, stop it with these jokes you read on the internet. Seriously, can we make peace? What peace? I'm not fighting with you, at least not yet. Hey, girls, should we have a snowball fight? No, thank you. I'm afraid of hitting somebody. Marina, why are you being so mean? Nothing has changed. You and me, we used to play on the same playground as kids. Okay, guys. That's it. Thank you. I'm going for a walk. See ya. Uh, where's she going? Well, that was pretty awkward. Yeah, really hospitable. Asya, wait! Yena, where are you going? Asya! Where are you going? Where, where, where? I'm going to check out our maniac. What if he's already burying dead bodies? Are you nuts? There's a fence. Gena, the real heroes are never deterred by anything. Hmm? Okay, bye. I just don't understand why they rushed after her. Well, what do you think? What? Well, do I even have a chance? Oh, with her? Huh? No, she's crazy. Nobody has a chance with her. Let's go. See you later. Has your crush left already? Shut the hell up. What? Nothing. Who do you think you are, Gina? Your husband. Uh-huh. Husband who's good for nothing. Lena, let's go home. My legs are cold. What? Where, where are you going? Going home. 
Come on, all right? Let's get out of here. All right, let's go. So, tell me, what the hell were you doing on the ice? Take this. It's because I'm nosy. What? <laughs> Are you crazy? Stir it. Stir it. It's just that this used to be my valley, and now it's yours. I spent all my childhood here, and it was my secret place for hiding things. I even had a treasure hidden here. A treasure? A secret place? How old are you? I'm turning 27. Got it. A secret place. Well, yes. You know, everyone keeps telling me the same thing. I'm still a child, and I used to take it as a compliment. Now I understand what they're saying that I'm simply irresponsible. When I was drowning there, I was so scared. I hadn't managed to do anything with my life yet. When the house was being built. I found this. And I thought somebody had hidden it. I don't know why I decided to keep it. But here you go. Now I found the owner. May I? Thank you for not throwing it away. You know what this is? It's a letter to the future me. I wrote it to myself. <laughs> My dear grown up Asya. Hello. This is a letter from Asya, who is turning 12 years old tomorrow. I'm dying to know how you're doing now. I hurt my knee yesterday and tore my new pants. Mom bought me new pants for the first day of school. Mom was angry with me and said it's time to grow up and become responsible. I would like to figure out 
what that's like. So far, I failed. You're so grown up already. I'm sorry you can't give me advice. No. I can't. Thank you. Thank you for saving my life. I guess I better get going. Where are you going to go? Look at yourself. Just sit. I'll make you some strong tea. Herbal tea. And you'll read the letter aloud to me again. <laughs> like a poem. I came to bring your clothes back. Um, aren't you going to ask if I got sick or something? Maybe I came down with pneumonia? <laughs> Yesterday, I added herbs to your tea. You're never going to be sick again. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? <gasps> Haven't your parents ever told you not to touch anything that's not yours? I'm sorry I touch everything. I'm sorry. Very sorry. <sighs> Give that to me. Give me. Are you clumsy or what? Give me that. Here's the cap. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. That was unintentional. Here's one more. That's all. Yeah. Get out of here. Uh, so sorry, I... It was very nice to see you. Yes, I'd like to buy a flask. Is it possible over the phone? I'll give you the item number. One second, please. Let me get it. Wait a moment. Here, great. The item number is 253B, as in boy, 748. 
Yes, very good. All right. Let's have a look. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Anastasia Petrovna. <laughs> Very good. Hello? How are you? You wanted to come by? Well, you can. For a walk? A walk? Oh, okay. Hold on. You'll just have to wait for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, uh, Azya. These are for you. Thank you. Okay, I'll be ready soon. I'm glad you decided to stay. Mm hmm. I needed the fresh air and the outdoors. Mm -hmm. Maybe my mom was right. I really needed some rest. <laughs> I guess you have a lot of admirers there in the city. Stop that, Gostya. What admirers? I have the salon, bills to pay. These are all my interests. I was thinking, well, we could maybe, well, I could maybe find some work in the city somewhere. You know, closer mm -hmm. to you. We could see each other more often. You're finally here. Finally! <laughs> My wait is finally over. <laughs> mm, yeah. Oh, I've missed you so much. It's been so long. So do you like that idea, or...? Come on, let's go. Mm -mm. What do you have here? It looks beautiful. Uh, Asya, is it something I said? Asya! Head of the local hoodlums. Yeah. Cut it out. Listen, let's go for a ride on your snowmobile, huh? Can I drive? How are you gonna drive with nails like that? Oh, look, real pictures. <laughs> well, my mom's so sorry. She thought she was raising an artist and ended up raising a manicurist. Why a manicurist? I have a tattoo of one of your drawings, and I show it off to everyone that I can. Look at that. You even had it tattooed. Uh, Marina just cooked something up. Do you want to come in? No, I can't. Thank you. You repaired my fireplace and treated me to tea. I'm so happy. You're welcome. I wish you both so much love. Thank you. Don't hesitate to come. What do you want? Nothing. Well, I... Listen, how about we go for a ride sometime, okay? Caustic, see ya. Uh, uh. Kid, are you hungry? Mm. Yeah, I guess. Here, put this in the garage. Smells good. What did she want this time? Can you just drop it, Marina? Well, I see that you like it. Like what? Well, the attention of an independent and unapproachable city girl. Listen, Marina, we've been friends since we were kids. Yet I didn't go to the city to follow some big dream. I just stayed here to work like a regular person. 
Think about what you're saying. There's nothing to think about here. It's perfectly clear. Young and independent, she has no domestic chores. A dream come true. All you men are the same. It takes nothing to win you over. Well, I just lost my appetite. I'm gonna go for a walk. Go, take a walk. Hello, Asya? Where are you? Are you crying again or what? Okay, stay there, don't leave. I'll be there in a minute. What a mess. Things are scattered all over the place. How can you live here like this? Mila, don't even try to lure me back to the city. That won't work. But we would be together, and it would be so much more comfortable. But I really like it here. And I feel really good here, Mila. Believe me. What? What's this? Creative makeup salon? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, dear. Well, A little bit too salty. I tell you, she is playing with all of you. Listen, I know her type. Pretends to be all harmless creature, so delicate and frail, and idiots like you are running after her, feeding into her vanity. No, I'm sure she's cozying up to Genna, or, I don't know, some other idiot. She's a real viper. Marina, what am I gonna do, hmm? I, I really like her and, well, she almost returned my affections. Really? Did she say that? Well, mm. Almost. Something like that. Kostya, the problem is in that almost. Listen, she has a hundred guys like you. She keeps you all on a short leash, won't choose anyone. Do you know why? Why? Because she needs my husband. Why do you think she came here? She's been in love with him since childhood, and those feelings are the strongest. She wants to get him. I don't know, Marina. You make it sound so complicated that I can't understand anything. Ugh, well, whatever. The marriage stamp on my passport is on my side. And you? I hope you're on my side as well, right? Mm, well, I don't know. I don't get it. You're not on my side? What are you trying to say? Well, yes, I'm on your side. Well then, go and find my husband and bring him home right away. Have you called him? Mm, no, I got upset. Mm. <laughs> are you serious about this? He's about a hundred years old. No, of course. It's just strange. But you know what they say. Love can sometimes be blind. Kenna, please don't tell anybody about it. I just don't have anybody else to share this with besides you. I won't tell anyone. Mom's the word. Kenna, how could I attract him? What do you mean? Well, nobody takes me seriously, Kenna. And least of all him. Asya, people simply can't help but like you. What are you doing? Have you forgotten about Marina? Kid, are you completely nuts? Kostya, what's wrong? Let's go, you and me. Stop that. Wanna get it in the face? Oh yeah. <laughs> guys, guys, stop it. Guys, are you, are you mad? Kostya, get that. up, calm down. Enough, Kostya, enough. I, guys, are you crazy? Stop fighting, guys, stop it. Cut it out. Stop it, stop it. Guys, guys, enough! Stop it! That's insane! There's a fight going on outside over a girl. Those people are crazy. It's getting pretty serious. Someone's gonna get hurt. Those fools. All right. Just wait Dad. here. Dad! Stop it! Enough! That's enough! Hey, cut, cut it, it out! out. Guys, Back away from them! Stop. I said stay away! Let me calm them down! Relax! Get off him! Stop it! Get up! Go! It's hands off! Hands off! I said hands off! Alright? That's it! That's it! Stop! Stop! 
Cut it out, you fools. Quiet. Get the hell out of here. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Okay? Everything's yes, fine. Yes. Then go away. I, I know. I didn't go. want this. Give my regards to your mom and dad. This, this, I believe this wasn't you. My I do. Fault. Go. I, just I'm go sorry. inside. Okay. Bye. Go, go, go. 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 Well, come on, Genna. You must have known that sooner or later I was gonna find out about you two. Leave me alone, will you? That's great. I'm asking you for the last time, and you still won't tell me. Okay, if you don't tell me, somebody else will. Zakar. I've asked you not to call me that a thousand times. Well? I'm getting married. With whom? <laughs> well, <laughs> who is this brave guy ready to take you on? But Dad... Dad what? Dad what? Well, is he a good guy? He's really good, but I don't understand. You're always opposed to my boyfriends. <sighs> well, my dear, time passes. You're all grown up. As far as I know, it was all because of her. You were right. Uh huh. This is what I need. Thank you. Could you sign here, please? Thanks I for wish your you blessings, would stop Daddy. By sooner. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's for you. Thank That's you. it. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, I'll miss I you so much. Come by again soon. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, you little monkey. <laughs> That's All it. Right, Dad. Go. Go, go. That's it. Bye. Bye, bye. 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 Call me. I'll call you right when I'm home. Hello? Hello, Masha. I'm going to be here for a few more days. Can you take care of the business? Young by yourself? lady. Are you lost? I'll give you a call back. I... I was going to the bank. Well, there used to be a road here. <laughs> going to the bank? Yes. Well, not like that. I wanted... Uh, to say thank you once again. I got lucky that you were around. <laughs> you do like it when young men fight for you. A girl with... butterflies on her nails. <laughs> well, you know what? This is for you. To make up for the damage. Mmm. Thank you. But my flasks were made of pre-stressed glass. I don't like what's going on here. What's wrong? Look what I found in the trash. You know, if you didn't want your daughter to sketch all the time, you shouldn't have sent her to an art school as a child. That's not the problem. Do you recognize the man in the drawing? Looks like some actor. Hmm? An actor? That's the man living next door. 
Oh. <laughs> right. It looks just like him. Tell you something else. I saw her talking to him. Well, wait and see. He'll be coming here to propose soon. <laughs> What's so funny about that? Let's see how much you laugh when she brings home someone your own age. I'll enjoy it. And, most importantly, I'll ask him to call me Dad. <laughs> you bother me. <laughs> That's right, Daddy pets you. <laughs> Sounds great. <laughs> Kostya, Kostya, we need a plan. I can't sit around and let my marriage fall apart just like that. And besides, I'm sure she's just playing around with my Genna. Hi, guys. Should we have a barbecue tonight? Oh, what happened? Had a fight? Yeah, I... Listen, he doesn't remember. He got drunk yesterday. Well, I thought... we would go together. Lena, we can't make it. We have something more important to do. Sorry. Okay, I'm leaving. Listen, wait, sit down. Take off your coat. You know that you and I have known each other for ages, right? And definitely, I consider you my best friend. Well, yes. Then, of course, you'd be willing to do me a small favor, right? Yes, Marina, sure. What do you mean? What kind of favor? Why don't you go upstairs and lick your wounds? Get out of here. Mm. Look. Here's what I need you to do. Have you worked up an appetite? Nope. Mom, tell me what's wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with you. You're beautiful. <laughs> Young, successful. Yet, you have managed to get into trouble since you were a child. Yes. And I did it again. My motherly heart is somehow sinking. Mom, my heart is sinking as well. Drop it. How many crushes like that have you had? And each time it's the same thing. He's the best. He's the one. No, but this time it's different. You say it each time. In two weeks you'll get over it and you'll forget it even exists. No, I won't forget. I won't forget. Mom, he's different. He's not like everyone else. I've never met a person like him. He's... He's just real, do you understand? It's just that he doesn't take me seriously. Honey, listen to me. This man is not for you. He has a whole life behind him. A lot of baggage. What if he has children? He isn't worth it. Believe me, you're better off without him. You have to listen to me, darling. I didn't think I would ever tell you this. But it's better if you went home. Go back to work and forget all this nonsense. Mom, so you really think that all of this is nonsense? I used to think this was my home here. Apparently I was wrong. Thanks for your help. <sighs> Sweetheart.
Well, are you gonna stay in here or what? I thought you came to apologize to Kostya. <laughs> you want me to apologize? For what? For the fact that he's a big dumb idiot? In fact, this dumb fool is my brother. Oh, yes. Foolishness is your family trait. Don't you dare offend me in my own house, got it? Oh, come on, give me a break! Wait, wait, Marina, wait. Forgive me. I had to teach your brother a lesson. And it was self-defense! That's it? Don't you want to apologize for anything else? No. What else? I was making oatmeal in the morning. I guess I burnt the saucepan. You know what, honey? I've never run after you, and I'm not going to start now. As soon as you stop holding grudges, I'll come home. What, did he leave? Imagine, without blinking an eye. Still, he's not going to cheat on me. No way. What are you going to do? I don't know. Where are you going? To the market. Need anything? Get some milk. Ah. Oh, and tell Aunt Lucia that she needs to watch her son. This little skank got to you, and she's switching over to the married ones. Turns out we're all in danger here. Listen, he has a black eye, doesn't he? Oh, really? And you think that that's going to stop her? Are you waiting for food? Oh dear. Let's go. I'll give you something to eat. Go, 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 go. Come on. Hi, Katerina. How are you? Oh, hello, my dear. Please come in. I wanted to see Asya. Is she home? She's not here. She left. I thought she was with you. No. She's not. Okay, I'll come later then. All right. Goodbye, thank you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Eat. Go on, eat. Go on. Don't you want to say hello to me anymore? Ah. Right here. See? I found us some better tea. Uh. And my daughter paints as well. That's a lie. She doesn't paint. She can't paint. But she's got a nice car. Uh-uh. Was that your daughter before? What did you think? Well, nothing. Nothing? You no. should have. <laughs> well, I, I draw a little. I went to an arts college. Well, I teach at the university. Hmm. Dr. Zakhar Andreevich, uh. professor of geological studies. Nice to meet you. Well, in this case, Anastasia Petrovna. What a beautiful name. Just call me Asya. Aren't you getting cold? Let's go to my place. Have some tea. No, no, I... I need to finish it. No? Here. Your tea. And zip your jacket. 
If you're gonna be out here, come by the house if you like. I'll be waiting for you. Anastasia Petrovna? <laughs> what? Are you waiting for me? Let's go. Come along, come along, come along. Come on, come along, come on. I'll be waiting. <laughs> oh, Gena, thank you. You helped me out a lot. Of course. You're always welcome. Gena! Gena, I'm the happiest person in the world! <laughs> What's up? Gena, you can't imagine what happened to me a minute ago. <laughs> what a girl. Shame on you. You're cold. <laughs> come on, let's get in here. Gena, come inside. I'm going to tell you something. Kenna. Kenna, you have no idea what happened to me. Okay, okay. You want some tea? No, thank you. I'll help. By the way, where's Marina? Mm. Mm. Marina and I had a fight, so... Was it because of me? Huh? You've got nothing to do with it. It's just Marina's the sort of person who eats and drinks jealousy all the time. <sighs> Okay, so tell me what happened. So does <laughs> your old man have a son as nice as him? Well, first, he's not old. Secondly, Gena, he invited me over for tea. Can you imagine? And guess what he told me? That he liked my name. That's so cool, right? <laughs> <laughs> what was that, a compliment? But you just don't understand how he said it to me. Mmm. Would you like tea? No, thank you. Gena, I can talk to Marina if you want. You and me, we're like brother and sister. She shouldn't be jealous. I'm not trying to get with you. Yes, that's true. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> Drop it, just forget it. She'll come back when she's had enough. All right, Kenna. I need to go. Okay. Okay, bye. You should cover your ears. It's not like that, and there's nothing between them. Lena, I saw it with my own eyes. No, it's settled. I'll come home tonight and catch the two of them red-handed. Stop it, Marina. You know what they say. Ignorance is bliss. And I wanted to marry her. Don't. Don't even say that. What? Okay, guys, I'm going home. I can't wait any longer. Fine, okay, go then. Did you mean to say that you wanted to marry Asya? Uh, no, well, that was just figurative, you know? She's very nice, of course, but she's kind of difficult. Nah. No, I don't need a wife like that. What kind of wife do you need? What kind? She must be cheerful, understand my jokes. I don't know. She must let me get away with things. She must be beautiful. Lena, why are you so quiet? What can I say? Okay, Kostya. Well, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. That's fine. Bye. Okay, bye. Is there a little mouse roaming around in here? A hungry little mouse. I'll bite through all of the cupboards. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes good. I even know who baked it. Do you? Somebody hasn't been here for dinner. Well, some kind of creative melancholy came over me. Well, I saw your melancholy. Mom found it in the garbage can. Hmm? Found what? The portrait. Of one of our neighbor. Hmm. <laughs> Not a very good one, by the way. Sure. <sighs> he looks different. Well, yes, he looks better, in fact. I guess my daughter has finally fallen in love. <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry. 
that. <laughs> Why fall in love? <laughs> he's a good man, that's all. <laughs> you should grab him, if he's good. Okay, good night now. you get up? Excuse me. I'll go back upstairs. Okay. Don't you care about me at all? Listen, don't start again. I'm so sleepy. What? Did you work too hard during the day? Uh... Have a good night. Come on, let's go. Watch your step, you guys. Keep going. Right down here. From her husband. Can you imagine? How is that possible? Came here. Can you believe it? Yes. Came and muddies the waters. Did you hear that? She was I dressed know, to the night. It. Did you hear what Argena just did? To yes. Gana? Yes, that's what right. Why did she go after him? After she decided to go and throw herself at him. Can you believe it? Yes, <gasps> it was our Asia. Yes, that's really? right. Yes. I guess I'm... that's just a normal thing in the city, so you better watch out and take care of your man. <laughs> you better watch yes, out. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Did you hear? Hear what? Saw? Saw who? Did you see Gunna? Katarina! Katarina! Do you understand what you're saying? I would never believe that. No, you know that I wouldn't lie to you. All right, I'll talk to her. Hmm? Talk about what, Mom? Hmm. Well, I better be going. No, Aunt Lucia, what was it you wanted to say? I have nothing to talk to you about. Aren't you ashamed? Don't dishonor your parents, all right? What do you mean? Hmm, look at her, pure innocence. Yesterday, she threw herself at Genna. Instead of stealing somebody else's man, you should probably find your own. I will, don't worry about it. Maybe I found one already. <laughs> Genna and I are just friends. Make sure to tell that to everybody you've been gossiping to. I haven't been gossiping. Well, Aunt Lucia, enough. No more bad mouthing, everything is fine. I will talk to Marina. Mm-hmm. Good. Have a good day. Goodbye. <laughs> Breakfast is on the table. Mom, what's wrong? Did you get upset? It's time we had a serious talk. I don't like you being the focus of all this gossip. All of it started happening the minute you arrived. Honey, stop that. Let me talk. I'm not sure whether it's gossip or not, but I do not want them to say that my daughter throws herself onto married men. Mom, are you serious? Do you really believe in everything they say? I guess it's clear that you do. Okay, see you. Asya, you're still in your pajamas. Come back. <sighs>
Why did you hurt her? <sighs> She's young and silly, and these locals just pick on her. She's capable of defending her own integrity. Still, it's better for everyone. You care about what people say more than your own daughter. Oh, honey. I care about her happiness, and she's not going to find it here. How's it going? Everything's good. <laughs> I'll be damned. Hello, beautiful ladies. I heard you were having a pajama party, right? No? Okay, I'm kidding. By the way, that's a great idea. I need to put it down. We can have a pajama party every month. Hmm? Oh my god, I missed you so much. Look, they brought new palettes, stickers. Would you like to have a look? No, no. I just need to put myself together and I'm in a little bit of a rush. I got it. What about your nails? Polina! Polina? Our new trainee. She's gonna take care of your nails. Yes, but I need something very neutral. Okay. What do you mean? Are you sure? Yes, I am. As you wish. What's that? What's that? What do I need to do so that you'll talk to me properly? I'm speaking to you as you deserve. Listen, when I'm rude to you, you don't like it. When I speak to you politely, you walk all over me. I've prepared, what do you call it? <sighs> Lunch for you. Mm -hmm. For the first time, thank you. I can't believe it. All right, then. I'm sorry. You've prepared lunch for me. What's up with you? <laughs> and you? Mmm. What's going on? It's delicious. Thank you. Is that all? What do you mean? <laughs> what? What has gotten into <laughs> you? I see. <laughs> Stop, I haven't <laughs> swallowed. <laughs> Gonna, what is wrong with mm -hmm, you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey now, you better watch your mouth. I'm going to chop. <laughs> Jacket? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. They're on an expedition now. Mm -hmm. Materials will be sent next week. Mm -hmm. So let's wait. I got Sound good? We'll call good you. afternoon. See you later. Good afternoon. Do you have the books on geology? Well, all the books here are on geology. Are you looking for a particular author, a particular subject? Yes. Do you have the books by the university professors? Um, yes, of course. Here is the most popular one. Professor Andreevich writes very interesting, informative books written in accessible language. He's a man with invaluable experience. By the way, aren't you late for lecture? What did you say? I'm sorry, I thought you were one of his students, but you're not. Oh, yes, yes, thank you. I'm running over there right now, so... Uh, uh, 
Here, take it. Thank you very much. Yes, but wait. Uh... Oh, that's very interesting. But I'll tell you about it next time. Well, write it down. Yes. Maybe next time. Miss. Yes, you. Come here. A latecomer. You can answer the question. Where? In the territory of Russia, were diamond deposits found for the first time? You don't know? Sit down. You're failing. Why failing? She's a newcomer. May I answer? No. We'll talk about diamonds next time. Oh. It's interesting. Excuse me, please. Take off your bracelet. So what do you think of this girl? My friends, attention, please. Please, take a look over here. What stone is in my hand? The garnet. You're absolutely right. The black garnet. And it's not exactly this way. Normally, the black garnet has a glassy reflection, so it's extremely easy to counterfeit. Now tell me, how to distinguish a true garnet from a fake one? Nobody knows. But I do. You just need to take a house key. Hold it. Hold it a little higher, and we'll do this. Pay attention. I'm sharing something very interesting. Nothing happens. And now, we'll take an authentic, natural, certified garnet, and we'll do this for you. Now we'll drop the left hand slowly. Whoa. The question is why? Oh my God, what's going on? Huh? It's because garnet contains a huge amount of iron and what? How about you? You were laughing a lot because <laughs> it contains a tremendous amount of iron as well as manganese. Absolutely right. And this piece of garnet, with your permission, young lady, is my gift to you so that you can remember this lecture. Now go and take a seat. Hmm. What interesting books have you read? Here you are. Hello, is Asya home? Close the door, it's drafty. Asya's left, Genna. What do you mean? How? She didn't even say goodbye. Genna, didn't you say enough? Well, we just wanted to ride snowmobiles. Asya wanted to join us. Don't you uh, have someone else besides my daughter to go out with? Isn't your wife jealous? What do you mean? Your marina spreads rumors that my daughter is going after you. Didn't you know that? Oh. I got it. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll sort it out. I'm sorry. You amaze me, honey. <laughs> I fought with our only daughter because of those damn guys. Then call her. I kicked her out. I can't ask her back. Mm -mm. No, I can't. OK. I'll ask her to come back, all right? I don't get it. You're all in gray. I didn't recognize you dressed like that. 
Well, I came to the university after all. I see. Shall I give you a ride? No, thanks. I have my car. Really? I don't know how to get Well, I don't see it. I don't see a kick scooter anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for an informative lecture. I did my best. Well, if you want, we can go somewhere and have something to eat. I'm starving. Well, let's go. I'm usually quite hungry after each lecture. <laughs> let's go. I'll learn some more interesting things. I made up my mind. I'm going back to school. Where in the city? Hmm? Which university? Yeah, what's the difference? No matter what, it's prestigious. You know, I don't want to spend all my life here. I want something new. I would like to go somewhere as well. Come over here. What are you doing? Marina, what are you doing? Osseo left the village because of you. Because of who? Because of me? Yes, because of you who spreads rumors that she cozied up to me. Maybe Kostya or maybe Lena needs to do that. I don't need to spread any rumors, okay? Gina, do you ever stop and look at yourself from the outside? You're always together. What should I do? Do I wait until she steals you? What are you doing? Stop talking nonsense. She's like Vika for me. Marina, wait, I didn't understand a thing. I... Jenna! Marina, who is Vika? Nobody. She's his younger sister. I had a sister. My parents went away, left the two of us alone. My sister and I, we went swimming. I failed to keep an eye on her. Wait. I don't understand. You had nothing going on with Asya, really? Of course I didn't. She's like a younger sister to me. I'm sorry. I didn't know you had a younger sister. Well, listen, don't worry about it. Well, great, I've successfully burnt the meat. <laughs> Don't cry. <laughs> Professor Zakhar. You traveled so much. You visited so many countries and towns. You searched for oil and diamonds. Why did you settle down here? Why did you begin teaching? Isn't it boring? <sighs> not really. No. It's not boring. I'd say it's interesting for me to communicate with students. Do you know why? They're just like me, looking to learn something new. But take a look around. Nobody wants to learn anything. They sit just existing in their offices. That's what's boring. Are you hinting at me? Actually, I... Not at all. You're an exception. You know what? Listen, Zakhar. Thank you for the trick. It was interesting. Listen, Asya. Who told you? That it was a trick. I think we had a good time. Yes, it was wonderful. Thanks for the conversation. <laughs> My pleasure. 
If you want, you can come to my lecture. Maybe I will. Maybe you will. Read them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See you. See you. Thank you. I'm fine. Well, shall I help? No, thank you. I'll manage. Thank you. As you wish. See you. See you. Come on. dead? Let's go. I'll take you home. I have no choice. Let's go. All right, we're here. Thank you for all your help. Not at all. No kissing. Good luck. See you. Go home. the front gate. <laughs> Hello there. Hello. Would you take a goat? Uh... I see your wife's had eyes on it for a long time now. Hey. Look, look here. Great eyes. It has great hair. Golden fleece. Hello. Hello. The goat is good. I agree. Uh, sweetie, would you like to look at the goat, huh? <laughs> Why do you embarrass us? Be quiet, honey. Look at it. Genna! Hmm. Genna, get up! Genna, get up. Listen, there's something strange going on over there. Where? Outside! Hurry, get up! Holy moly. Take it. Uh, does she produce a lot of milk? Of course. It's still young. It'll produce for a decade. Hurry, hurry! Mm -hmm. Sweetie, come here. Dad. No Mom. way. No way. Here she is. Red hair, her own teeth, nails. Everything's first class. Yes, she weighs less than your goat. But in general, as they say, it's a really good trade. So what do you think? What is going on here? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Of course, the goat's more valuable to the home. Well, it's a deal, then. Deal. Unbelievable. Ah, <laughs> see <laughs> Just look at her. She made her point. What? <laughs> Let's go. Where? What are you talking about? Ma Daughter, it's a good deal. Who else will give me a goat for you? That's all. The grown-ups have made a decision. I will never forgive you for this. You'll thank me someday. Maybe he'll domesticate her. That's all, folks. The show is over. All of you are invited to the wedding. What wedding? Are you crazy? Go back to where you came from. Just go away. Go away. Go on. Haven't you got somewhere to be? Zakhar, you and I need to talk. 
With pleasure. After you. What are you doing here? The show is over. That's it. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Explain to me what is going on well, here. What? I like you, that's what. And you have decent parents. When did you have a chance to make a deal with my parents? Real men always take a chance. I don't understand a thing. <laughs> you don't even know anything about me. In the old days, couples didn't see their fiancés prior to the wedding. We'll get to know each other. Are you a good cook? Well, it depends. Wait, what wedding are you talking about? You'll cook a duck for dinner. Okay, I'm going to go cook. Then go. Or you want them to gossip? Do you really want rumors about our daughter all over the village? Do you understand what you're saying? She'll never forgive you for this. Tell me you're kidding me. My darling, you, you know that I always listen to you. But let me make this decision now. She will leave him. We won't let her back in. Wait, but... Listen, listen, I'm serious. You said yourself, she fell in love with him. Mm. And last night when I... When I saw them both, I had some feeling right here, inside. How many boyfriends she's had. And not one could deal with oh, her. But... There are no real men left in the world, you know. Mm. And this man, he'll truly mm. love her like a real man would. In other words, if you truly want your daughter to be happy, don't deny her this opportunity. That's all. Zakar, tell me, do you really like me? <laughs> You're so funny. I'm starting to regret that I've given my best goat to your parents. More pepper. More pepper. Cook, cook. You need to learn. You've been told the show is over, haven't you? Time to go home. Well done, man. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for not going away. Goodbye. Yeah. Oh, what a day. Goodbye. Oh, that's great, isn't it, fellas? All right, let's, let's get out of here. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, all right. <laughs>